everyone. We got up before the sun today. We're driving about an hour to our friends, the DeKynes house. Uh, Tracy, the mom, Olivia and Alyssa go to homeschool group with us. And they are, um, they raise chickens for themselves and others. So today, which is Friday, so Friday, Monday, and then the following Friday and Monday, going to process 280 chickens. So we are going to work with them and learn how to do it. We have uh, Cornish Cross that we raise uh, every summer for meat birds. We want a, basically a five, six pound bird, so we do eight week process. We uh, start three weeks in a brooder, five weeks out in the field, basically about 20 pounds per bird they eat. And um, we've got 280, I think, or approximately 270, 75 out here. Not out here, but to process over the two, next two weekends. So out here we have about 180, 175. Processing, we have a plot. We have, first we have the scalder, 150 degrees for one minute. Then we have, then we take them out of there and we put them into the plucker. Plucker just takes a minute or less, takes all the feathers uh, off. Anyway, so we're going to do that and then we're going to eviscerate, which is the nice word <laughs> for, uh, you know, cutting it open and taking out the insides. And then we'll probably end up cutting them up and into pots and, uh, and we'll bag them. I'm Inspector 12. I try to check for any kind of what we missed and then we weigh them and then we're all have smiles on them. Because they're so big and fat and juicy. <laughs> Does it come out less expensive than buying chickens? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you have the added benefit of knowing exactly what they were fed, exactly right. the conditions they're right. raised in. So these are healthy, right. happy chickens that exactly. are organically fed. And I just say to my friends who get upset about meat and raising things just to slaughter, I say we give them the best life possible until right. and they have a purpose. <laughs> You know, exactly. and that's the purpose we, we have them for. So, but they are treated very well. Right. And then I don't have such a problem. All right. Well, I look forward to learning more. Thanks. We're catching the chickens. And right now, we're going to pick them up. And now. So, this is a chicken tractor, so you guys move it? Yeah. Make the wheels up here and then. With the ropes that are on the back. Taking the feet off and de What's your job? Well, I'm eviscerating the chicken. Eviscerating, okay. Well, so not yet. I'm you're going to. So, what will you do? I guess you'll just show me as you go. Yeah, I will um, cut open the stomach and then uh, start pulling out the ears and then clean it up. Which I think it's this way. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, that's not pleasant. Yeah. Looks like they're kind of like their stomach, I guess. Taking yeah. away <laughs> all that grass. And, yeah, and there'll be stones in there too, and they eat stones. <laughs> oh, right. That's what grit and yeah. all birds basically do that. And chill tanks, after they're completely done, we put them in the chill tanks to try to drop the temperature as much as possible before we package them. We're getting the chickens out of those buckets there. Okay. And then I'm weighing them and passing them on. They cut them up into four separate or five separate groups, like the um, breast, thighs, stuff like that. And um, then once the bags are full, I cut them off and put them either in the cooler, but they're full. So now we're putting them in this basket to carry them to the freezer. Gotcha.